What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Zablix video. This time I would like to highlight uh, something which I think is the most popular problem po per uh, Zablix agent. It means like a uh, server monitoring and this problem is uh, related with the Zabbix agent active checks. Uh, if you ever tried to set up log file monitoring or Windows event log monitoring and in that it end up happening like not working, then uh, probably this video will help you to highlight like what is the problem. And uh, yeah, let, let, let's start. And um, from my point of view, like the problem, in a way we can say it starts with the agent installation. Uh, if we visit the website, there is instructions for every Linux distribution. And it's mainly consists with steps install Zabbix repository and install Zabbix package uh, using the dedicated tool and then enable the service. Uh, and uh, this instruction, I would say mm, it, it miss, it's missing one last step to remove identity, which is called uh, like Zabbix server. Uh, I know this problem exists at least for last uh, six years and uh, today is uh, November to 2024 and it's practically exists uh, forever and uh, and ideally like at the worst case scenario like this instruction should have another bullet point like open agent config and make sure the identity is matching the host name of the server and uh, from the uh, SSH perspective uh, it is here uh, if we look for uh, host name, host name, and in look inside Zabbix agent, uh, we see like this is identity, host name Zabbix server, but uh, uh, this system, uh, this server is not even running Zabbix server. And my point here is like if you deploy 200 agents, you deploy 200 agents, which is uh, hiding behind identity Zabbix server, and it's wrong. Uh, it's like from my point of view, it's like a serious bug in in the like uh, like in the default configuration, which comes out from the box. Uh, at the best case scenario. Uh, we should just delete this line and it will make the situation much better. Um, I'm making this video uh, for the purpose, like how to find these host objects which is having this uh, misconfiguration. I will guide you uh, how to create a template for this. Uh, so let's have a look and uh, let's start the template and uh, like uh, detect uh, active uh, misconfiguration, something like that. Uh, this will be like modules, uh, click and, um, and add. And then let's visit detect active and uh, visiting this um, template. All we need to do is create item. Uh, the item will like analyze that file, like that config uh, using this uh, built-in item key, uh, which, which can read the text. And then I will provide the full path of the agent config, zabbix agent d dot conf. So this is the default configuration file and we can check like once per day. And um, then uh, like, this is like quite a lot of kilobytes of text. I don't want to like save that in the database and there is quite a elegant trick we can use javascript preprocessing to seek for line which starts with something like let return uh, value that match and uh, here in the regex we can search for line line uh, host name equals zabbix server and the dollar sign would mean like end of the line global match and then question mark return one if we did find this line like this line which really starts with the host name not like the if it's in the middle then it will not find but if it's it starts its active line and um, uh, question equals one and then uh, something like this uh, so it will report 
number one if it finds and number zero if it does not find and then it's easy to create a trigger if it's one then uh, it, it will find let's go go through the process add this item click and if it's bigger than zero then it's like um, it's a disaster or high and uh, like and we can tell uh, duplicate agent I duplicate identity for uh, host uh, Zabbix server uh, and yeah let's uh, put this active and let's see if the template works uh, in practice uh, let's go back Zabbix agent Linux by Zabbix agent and um, this is my template it's currently linked to that host which is uh, running inside that SSH uh, in the SSH terminal and I will create a child template and uh, like I, I will link uh, this is the stock template like passive checks passive checks are working perfectly fine but active checks is not working because of this identity so we are linking uh, one like extra step uh, which will use this working channel like passive checks are working fine and it will detect this misconfiguration uh, update and in in the 7.0 like the results should come very fast uh, and uh, let's visit the problems page and um, now okay uh, apply and uh, my event title uh, duplicate identity for um, for this guy and um, like this is this is wrong and uh, there will be one false alarm like uh, inside Zabbix server uh, we should like uh, disable this guy like if uh, you have this host uh, Zabbix server we go to the triggers and disable this trigger so that's the only position where it is legit where it's correct and all the other 100 hosts or maybe thousands of hosts like this is very wrong uh, we should never have same identity so it did, it did identify this guy and the fix is like when you see this guy uh, then we visit the terminal we open the config here uh, and um, click and all I locate the not line uh, host name and it's quite good just to delete this line like I will delete the line so we don't have static identity anymore and if we save the file and restart the service restart Zabbix agent and if we watch the log uh, var log Zabbix Zabbix agent D uh, we can see like a uh, starting agent and in the square brackets like this is now identity uh, if we, I would grab like this uh, string um, uh, starting agent like from the log var log Zabbix Zabbix agent D uh, we will see like uh, previously the identity was Zabbix server it was wrong and now we have unique identity and for the active checks to work like we can really copy this guy to the clipboard copy and put this in the search field in Zabbix here click enter and if I find this identity uh, case sensitive like uh, we can even put these things uh, side by side uh, we see samba ak.lan and uh, this uh, same identity is here in the SSH uh, session so this is uh, the best start if you look forward to the log file monitoring we need to make this uh, identity matching otherwise log file monitoring never will, will work all right um, that is uh, that is everything uh, if you find this video helpful useful give it a thumbs up and uh, goodbye